Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Warmer, and this is my first ever playthrough of Genshin Impact. Oh. No, they're not. Okay, I thought they were like, uh... Oh, they are small lamp grass. Okay, we actually do, like, kind of need these for collecting stuff. Oh, there's, there's Klee's, uh, treasure. There's some scruffy handwriting in the wooden post says, my treasure. Uh, I love that they still have that here. Yeah, collecting flowers is, like, to me, the most important part in terms of leveling up I characters. We have more than enough for official. Uh, we have enough for you to send to level 80. We don't have enough for Zing Show yet because I forgot yesterday when I was collecting flowers to collect the silk flowers, but they're, like, the easiest ones to collect. They're so easy. Uh, we have more than enough for you. Uh, we have nearly enough for you. Uh, we have... Yeah, we'll see. We have to share with you. <laughs> That's the only thing. And other characters are going to level up as we go. Obviously, like, there's still characters like Barbara I want to level up to. Uh, but, like, her, her ones are going to be much more difficult. Look at that new effort. Her, her leveling up is going to be a little bit more difficult because we can't just, like, find a specific place. Maybe we can find a specific place to find them. Uh, we're, we now have a lovely set of new characters that we collected. We have, like, a bunch of new things that we're able to do here. Um, really, it's like... Where is he? Where is where is the guy who looks like Howl? And I actually watched Howl's Moving Castle uh, yesterday, so look at that. Such a good design. Hmm. And we can level him up, but I think we're going to wait to level him up until a little bit later. Uh, because we're going to use all the level up books for the team that we actually need in some cases. Kazuha? Great. He's such a great character. He's such a great character. So today we're going to be doing Ganyu's story quest. That is the next story quest we're doing. And is it all the way in Liyue? It is all the way in Liyue. That's the next story quest we're going to be doing. I put up a post saying, like, you know, what we're going to be doing over the next while. And that is the uh, next thing. That and then Shang Young's hangout event. And then Hu Tao's... Uh... Story quest, yes. But of course, we're going to start off by doing our commissions. I do the commissions like at the start as well, just like so we can get some keys, because we still need to unlock Hu Tao's uh, story quest. And I think we have to like to do that. Wait, did I go to the right place? Yeah, it's here. To do that, we still need to like unlock keys, and the easiest way to do that is literally just like do commissions really quickly. Do the commissions very, very quickly. And this team is actually very good. I actually like this team quite a bit. I think we have, like, just a bunch of really good characters. Like, we continue to have a bunch of good good, good characters. We have enough for a wish on the Linny thing, so we might actually, like, start off the day with, like, a wish to see if we can get Linny. A four-star, though, so it's probably, like, another constellation for Fermine. Wait, who is this? Oh, it's another for a constellation for Linny. Yeah, the plan is, and I've talked about this a few times, when we go to, like, Inazuma, I want to create, like, an Inazuma team. Uh, when we go to, like, Fontaine, I want to have, like, a Fontaine team as well. I think that'd be a really fun thing to do, especially since we're going to be hanging out there quite a bit, so collecting items for them would actually be, like, a really fun thing to do. Uh, what is this commission? Oh, I actually set the commissions to be in Mondstadt, by the way, uh, for once, which is very strange. Uh, it feels very weird. But we're here, aren't we? Uh, because we've been doing them in Leeway for, like, 40 episodes. That just felt right to do this now. What awful luck is nice for so really. Oh, these nice for have no sense of efficiency at all. They said that there uh, were monsters ahead. I wouldn't let me pass, but even now I still haven't received any more uh, concrete from them. What an unreliable liable lot. I still have so many matters to attend to. Do they have any idea how much uh, money they're costing me? Well, you look like an adventure, don't you? How about this? Would you be willing to do a little something for me? I'll pay you. Leave it to me. Wonderful. I love straightforward people. You'll be well rewarded with, uh, once the deed is done. I guarantee it. Perhaps my eyes deceive you, but the hill shows our monsters seem to have grown more numerous. Who knows what these so-called knights are doing all day? Since you agreed to aid me, then you can help me drive uh, them off for me. Yet you are only one person. Hmm. Forget it. Pick one of these areas to clear out yourself. Pick a, uh, then peak the peak side. Oh, okay, let's just do it. We got. We we did this quest before as well. Um, we'll go through the foot of the mountains. Sure, let's go. Um, yeah, man. Like this has like been such like a, a fun and exciting and enjoyable time to be a new Genshin fan. Uh, I got to look at the summertime events in Roma Reacts recently, which was also like very very exciting. Um, but we haven't like actually like been able to do a summertime event, but apparently there will be a summertime event this year as well, more than likely, so I'm actually pretty excited to get into that as well. Um, like, if we, like, we did events in this game, like, we did the cat event and stuff like that, which was super, super fun. Okay, calm down. Into the wind. Like, we did the, the, the cat event, which was pretty, really, 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 really fun. And we... Like, we started some events, like, just some events we didn't, weren't able to do, and some events we, we should be able to do, or should have been able to do, and weren't able to do them. 
but I'm saying to like really get into like uh, like eventually like when I catch up like in about ten years time, I really feel like we could like start doing like events every once in a while as well, which would be really super super fun. Yeah. Oh, by the way, thank you for this tip. By the way, you guys gave me this tip, and it's actually very good. So if you do this, if you hold this, they come in closer. That's such a good advice. And like, so of course, like you have like something like this where like they're getting electrocuted. Okay, that's a bad way of showing this off because of course they're gonna get absolutely destroyed by um, you know, a level seventy official with all nearly all of her talents nearly to max as they can be. Of course, it feels so nice being back in Mondstadt, though. It feels so nice. Time to go. So you've done as I asked. That's a wrap. Dragging your feet just like Knights of Fortis. I give you a minute. Did you forget or did you not listen in the first place? You, I don't care what- give me- yeah, do whatever you want, buddy. He's done this before. Where he's like, oh, you killed- you didn't kill him in the right time. Uh, in that right, Pavel. Um, where's the next one, then? Oh my god, this is so weird. Like, I'm so used to them being in, like, different- Wait, that's- is that not count- does this not count as leeway? Wait, does this not count? Did I set it to random? I set it to monster, so this doesn't count as leeway? That's interesting. I think I sent him to. Like, actually, it's just so, like, I'm not. Let me check here, because it's here, isn't it? I no, that's not it, but we can do this anyway. It's, like, here. Wait. It's. It's. Here. You go into this and you go to commissions. I have a set to Mondstadt, so this must be a part of Mondstadt then. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this again for you anyway. Yeah, like, I, th I thought this was all Liyue. But I guess, like, it, it Liyue, it, like, stretches past Liyue Harbor, maybe? Which is no, there's no problem with it, by the way. It's, like, not like, uh, oh, God, this game, it lied to me. It's like, okay, I just, I just don't have a good sense of, like, mapping and stuff. Which is fine. I'm actually really excited to do Ganyu's story. Um, even though, like, Zhang Li is a character who means a lot to us, and a lot of the characters we've been talking to, like, Xiao means a lot to us as well. Ganyu's a character who, like, I've wanted to know more about uh, for a while. Into the wind. You know what I mean? Like, it's a character that, like, I feel like came into our lives, was pretty freaking awesome. Someone's being attacked. Uh, and then, like, left us, left an impression on us, like, just because of how mysterious they were, how, like, you know, they, like, clearly worked for, uh, Ningguan, like, and were dedicated to Ningguan, but also, like, I don't know, have a really cool design, too. I just want to see, I just want to see what they're all about. Who are you? I'm Sor- oh, we know Soraya. A visiting scholar, I'm actually doing some research as you speak. A few days ago, I followed a trail of clues to the room where I found a jade plate that recorded details from the Archon War. But I was ambushed by treasure hoarders on my way out. I tried to run away, but uh, they caught up with me. If not for you, both I and the J Plate would have been in big trouble, so thanks again. You're a scholar too? You mean you've met other scholars around here like who? Boar? Wait a second. Just now, I, I, when I was ambushed, the, the treasure hoarders, I heard someone complain about Boar's hugging all the treasure. What a strange coincidence. Could you tell me a little more about Boar you met? Here's what I remember. The locations Boar pointed out to you are the same ones I was targeting. Maybe this is a coincidence? It's not so coincidental after all. Is she really with the treasure orders? Then I suspect they may have been following me around for some time, hoping to get some fresh rune tre uh, treasure via me. Boar wanted it all for herself, so to split off the group and try to get ahead, but this area is much too big for uh, one person to search, so it seems like uh, she used you, Traveler. I'll bet that she had her eyes set in the location for a long time. It's just her comrades and I got you before uh, you, uh, she did? Don't be alarmed, this is just a guesswork, but Boar seems suspicious sounding name. It could just be a fake name, maybe a code name. Traveler, could you throw off the scent? Whatever happens, the J-Play cannot get into the wrong hands. Good point. In case in that case, take this. It's nothing uh, It's nothing of any value, really. Barely enough to make a profit on, but hopefully through the to, uh, enough to uh, avoid suspicion for now. Okay, you uh, best get back. You may have just been beaten. Uh, yeah, let's go. I find some uh, something... Uh, on any of her future treasure hunts, can you bring- No, I will not. She's seen- Like, you can do that yourself, probably. <laughs> I might not be good for a lot of things, but I can keep historical relics safe. At least that's something. Um, weird. Um, I didn't get that impression from this, uh, from Boer. From Beor at all. I don't know. Did you guys get that impression? Am I, like, missing something? I don't know. I, did, I didn't get that impression at all from, from her. Hey, Hilly Charles. Let's light it up! Royal decree. There we go. Fischl is our best character, I think, in terms of like how I use her. 
I think I'm best with Fischl, maybe, and like Xiao, possibly. Uh, I found this. Hmm, it's not bad, but it doesn't look anything like the one I was looking for. It's still a relic. It's really cool designs, so but I never even noticed this. So I'll take care of it now. Don't worry. I'll see you guys to put to good use. Thanks for the help. In return, take these. But her lost relic. I hope it's okay. Honestly, honestly, now that I know she might be bad, she's kind of cooler. You know, she's kind of a cool person now. Now I want to be friends. You know. Now I want to. Now I want to talk. Because okay, there seems to be something over here. It's like, yeah, people are telling me like, you know, you you know, you have to level up your um uh, stamina as well as one hundred percent. It's just kind of difficult sometimes finding uh, where. Oh, look, the sky looks beautiful. Where are we? Where is it? Is it down below? It's just sometimes difficult finding the right. Oh, it's definitely here, is it? Or it's behind that that rocky, rocky stuff. It's behind the rocky stuff. One with nature. Shoot. There we go. Yep. Uh, and there's another one over here. In the tree, I'm guessing. Time to go. Time to go. Man, wow, what a great design is Kazuha. The wind knows. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's immune to this. Let's go up in the tree and get our stuff. You guys have a good day, okay? Have a good day for yourselves. I'm going up the tree. Brings a smile to my face. Oh my god, such a good voice acting as well. I'm going up the tree. Quick, he's climbing the tree. No, no, I'm not actually. I'm actually climbing. Uh, okay. Where, where what is this? One with nature. Can you guys see it? Actually, I might travel down from here to see if we can see it from here. Because we do need to... I, I totally agree. We do need to raise up our stamina a bit as well. Um, I can't even see it from here. Do, 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 do. Unless it's in the tree. Just so I, I can see a sparkle in the tree. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I can see it. And how much have we leveled up with this, With this, say, let's say go to this, we'll do this commission, then we'll go to the statue. And see much how we need to level, level up things. Because I'll be honest with you guys, I like finding them naturally, but sometimes I do miss them. Sometimes I do miss them. Hello guys, it's just me, your old friend. Uh, I better turn my head to see if it's an old friend that- Oh, it's not! Where do you go? Did you go to the water? That's no very bold. You're all extremely bold. Everybody stand back! Fallen leaves adorn my night! The wind knows me. Let me weave you a verse. Whenever those slimes run away to try and like regroup, I'm always like so like I I, I like I get irrationally angry. <laughs> I'm like, no. No you do not. No, you do not. That was a nice overload in fairness. Reinforcements coming? I don't think so actually. A little vaporize action for you. Yeah, it's super good. But honestly, like, his, like, I think having an under ice character would be really good with him, because, like, he actually does, like, pretty okay physical damage, and having, like, a mix of, like, a, like a superconduct as well on the team wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad at all. Yeah, we don't need to use our special ability on this. Sick. Almost destroyed a home. Leave that there for other hilly trills if they want it. You know what I mean? Just in case they need it. Um, okay. So, I, there's one more commission left that we have to do. It's over here. I think instead, I actually want to go level up the statue over here to see if, like, we can actually, how much we need to level it up. We did it. Cool. That's nice. Didn't expect that, though. Yep. I think sometimes as well, you know, people probably forget as well how um, I, like, how I'm playing the game is probably very different to how they're playing the game. 
which isn't a bad thing, I think, you know, like, because, like, obviously I'm playing this as a Let's Play. I'm not doing a stream of it, and I think when some people, oh, we just defeat the rune guards. When some, you know, when, you know, if you're watching a streamer of this game, I, I, I imagine that, like, you know, there's, a, like, a lot of, like, um, you know, you know, it's probably their whole stream day, you know what I mean? It's probably that's something they do all day, that, that's, that's their thing. So, like, there's probably a lot more done, like, um, okay, let's spend the next hour on, uh, uh, I don't know, like, finding these things. But, like, sometimes, like, when I finish a recording, like, you know, I probably won't open up Genshin until we're, like, you know, farming for items again, you know? Time to go. And it's kept the game so fresh for me. Like, it really has. Let's do another wish. Come on, Linny. Come on home. Your father's worried. Oh, thank God. I needed a ferocious shadow. Actually, we got one of these, so... Let's pull in our Chi-Chi. Let's do a constellation on a Chi-Chi. Wait, wait, wait. Are we doing a constellation on a Chi-Chi? Wait, what? I am we got Kitching! Yuhun, of the Liyue Chi-Sing. We live in an era of change, as the old order that has existed for a okay. thousand years is about to be rewritten. <sighs> Join me. Let us bear witness to this historical moment together. That's actually pretty sick. Like, on just like a free fate. You know, like to get a, a five star catching. And she's freaking awesome. And we love her beliefs. And we love her like ideals. And we love her as a character. And she's beautiful. Look at this. Look at that design. Look at it for, okay. Next 40 minutes, you can look at this, okay? I'll be back in 40 minutes. No, this is really cool. That, to me, like that's like awesome. Like, I, now here's the thing. What I've preferred Mona 100%, but like we got Chi-Chi, we got Chi-Chi, Mona, and, oh, sorry, and Catching. Like, like anything could happen, man. Like, that's crazy. On the standard banner, just like randomly getting a character like that. I'm very happy with that. That's more than cool. We have a Catching. You know? That's, that's pretty freaking awesome. So we have to go, to get to Story Quest, we have to go to Leeway Harbor again. That's awesome. Like, like, that's so cool that's just, like, pulling a five-star, like, on your first part, like, for a, from a free fate. That, that's... <laughs> like, I'm, like, I'm, like, it doesn't feel real, maybe, <laughs> to me. That's awesome. I genuinely thought we were going to get a constellation for, uh, Chi-Chi. Which wouldn't be bad either. Like, I think, you know, a lot of you guys are saying, yeah, Chi-Chi isn't that bad at all. Um, actually, should we, like, we haven't even, like, tried catching, right? Should we, like, take her out and, like, see what she's like? Let's see. Um, I don't think it, it matters too much if we take out here. Uh, she's new, so she should be, the, like, I look, look all the characters. Okay, I'm gonna go through all the characters that I want to use in the future so you guys are, like, aware of this, Okay. Um, Let's finish this quickly. Because I like letting you guys in as well. Of course, of course, always, guys. You know, like I do the behind the scenes posts sometimes as well. Okay, so she has like, so first of all, getting an idea of her character, freaking awesome outfit. The Electro Girls always seem to have like these really sick outfits here. Oh my God, she's a, and she's a simple sword user as well, and she has look at that thrust. Let's take a look at this here over here. This better idea to look at over here in the light. Okay, so let's see. The first attack is. Huh? Huh? Oh. oh my god! Oh, that's sick. One, two, three, four. Is there a five? And the five is a thrust, then again. A hold is pretty sick. Um, so this one here. So we'll look up, we'll read your tiles and see what that actually does as well, because that was a, a hold. But you could press it again. Let me see what that does. Okay, so if you go like this. And you can like, oh, there's a missing poster here too. Oh, they're still here, so they're hanging them up here as well. That's pretty. Cute. That's pretty adorable. That's pretty adorable. They 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 adore our character. Uh, let's read the talents here for a second. That was not what I wanted to go into, but let's read the talents here for a second. Uh, in terms of talents, she has normal attack, of course. Is yeah, it's fine. Uh, we have. Hurls lightning stiletto that annihilates her opponent like a swift thunder. When the stiletto hits the target, it deals electro damage. Wait, she throws her shoe? Are you serious? That's sick. That's so sick. 
the Stiletto Mark on its, its spot hit. It damages opponents in small AoE. Hold, uh, you can choose the direction. Yes, we tried that there. And then she can uh, jump. She can jump to the spot. Um, and you, while well, allowing Keshi to jump to, uh, to them, that's so sick. Lightning Stiletto. If Keshi uses Stiletto Restoration again or uses a charge attack while the duration lasts, it will clear the Stiletto Mark and produce a different effect. If she uses Stiletto Restoration again, she will blink to the location of the Mark and unleash one slashing attack that deals away ele uh, electro damage. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, like, she can she warps to them and then deals some damage again. Uh, if she uses a charge attack, she will ignite a series of thundering cuts and marks the location dealing electro damage. So, she uses a charge attack again. She will ignite a series of thundering cuts. When blinking to a stiletto uh, that was thrown from her holding attack, Ketchin could leap across even obstructing terrain. And Sir's Starward Sword, which sounds awesome, unleashes the power of lightning damage dealing electro damage in AoE. She then blends into the Shadow Blade, striking a series of thunderclap blows to nearby opponents simultaneously that deal damage. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. She's pretty sick. She's pretty sick. And before we go any further with the story mode, um, let's just actually the easiest way is to go into party setup. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna change back to Sing Shu, but um, so in terms of characters that I want to use, of course we have Kazuha, Fischl, Benny, these characters here. Obviously, the characters we've already leveled up. I'm I don't mind not using the Wonder anymore. And Nahida is awesome. Mika we can use as well at some point. We still do use Mika. Uh, Garmin, eventually I want to level up to. Barbara I want to level up to. I'm not totally sold on Yao Yao because we got so many like other Dendro characters now. That's like, okay, well, is she, is she pushed down a little bit? Maybe a tiny bit, but she's still a pretty cool character. And she has a really funny Musa and a fun Musa. Razor will always, if I get the chance, I'll always level him up if I can. Like if we get to like fish of level 90, I feel like that's perfectly fine to start leveling up Razor again. Um... Eventually, I want to maybe use Lisa again at some point. I do. Uh, of course, Fermine is awesome. Um, he can. He's he's definitely one of those mainstays. Sayo, I want to level up too as well when we get to a place where we can level her up. Uh, actually, believe it or not, I want to level up uh, uh, Shin Yan. Shin Yun? Shin Yun. Again. Um, I forgot about her. Apparently, this is a common thing up here being forgotten, but I actually think I still really like her design. But like, uh, we'll have to see with the combat again. I don't think we're going to level up Chi Chi. Because, like, you know, we're trying to find the time to even level up some characters, you know what I mean? And, like, we have to, like, be selective. Uh, maybe, like, actually could do catching. Could do a catching eventually. Linny. Yes, definitely. Uh, I forgot we had Ningguan, by the way. <laughs> I forgot we had Ningguan. Uh, yeah, Linny for sure. Uh, Kuki, yes, eventually. Um, yes. Uh, yes, yes. These are characters that I want to eventually level up. If that makes sense. Um, I think in terms of shield characters, I think Layla's a shield character, isn't she? So maybe Layla we could level up at some point too. We could go with Noelle again also. But that's just the characters that like right now I'm looking at that I could be like, you know, that would be my choices. Um, to eventually level up as well. Because we're going to be playing this game for, for a while. Uh, this is like a mainstay of the channel. This has become a game that I never thought I'd have on the channel, which I always wanted on the channel, was a game that I could just play and like always play it. Uh, with no end in sight. Um, it was either this or Call of Duty and we picked Genshin, so there we, you know, <laughs> Call of Duty is not my type of game. Uh, no insults to Call of Duty, though. Look at these boots. Ah. So you have to head up here, uh, and hopefully talk to, uh, Ganyu. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited to see what Ganyu has to say. Body and mind. As always, stories, you, the story quests usually start off with something else, you know? <sighs> It's shocking how much work there is to do, even for the three of us. These are uh, Ningwon's like three, uh, like appointed like assistants, right? And she's been handling it alone all along. The Chising secretary clearly is. So this an is they're talking person. about Ganyu. It's so frustrating. Huh? You're. Oh, <laughs> we're just we're just listening, and we do this. This is our thing. Aren't you Ningwon's servants? How come you're here? <clears throat> we are Miss Ningguang's private secretaries, not servants. <sighs> Have you seen this Ganyu traveler? It has been several oh, wow. days since Ganyu left for Joyun Karst. 
She's the general secretary of the Liyue Qixing. We've only taken over her responsibilities until she gets back. Let's see, why did she go to... Why did she go? Ah, even though the Qixing have made peace with the Adepti after the latter had denounced Liyue, they still want to pay their respects to the Illuminated Ones. They commissioned Ganyu as their envoy to deliver a letter to Julian Karst and bring the Adepti the latest news about the crisis. Okay. Still, Ganyu should have been back to her usual responsibility. She by seems now, like a messenger, though, doesn't she? She, she was a messenger a for us as well. Yeah, and, and yeah, they're saying she should. She's not, not someone to skirt her uh, responsibility, so she should be back so. by now. Maybe Ganyu just took a little detour. <laughs> Who can blame her after Paimon always like looking so for the best and everything, you know? I'm afraid it's not very likely. Ever since we met Ms. Ganyu, she's been nothing but the most conscientious person yeah, that's, in the, all Yeah, that's what I got the vibe of. Even when it's time for her annual leave, Ms. Ganyu stays on duty. Oh, no, you know no, no, take your annual leave. There's still so much to do. Take your annual leave, Ms. Ganyu. She couldn't possibly be using her mission as an excuse to slack yeah. off. Yeah, now please use your leave, though. Oh, Paimon sees how it is. But she's half adeptus. She wouldn't get in trouble, right? Why do you look so upset? <sighs> it's because of this absurd work. Oh, you're right. You have to do all the stuff she does. <sighs> when we first heard the three of us would be taking over for Miss Ganyu, we thought it would simply be a matter of changing our work environment. <sighs> we couldn't have imagined that Miss Ganyu's daily workload far exceeds what the three of us are used to doing. Should you go back to work? I'll just say, like, the Adeptus Lydia is truly remarkable. I'm not gonna like the, the, like, they're, it's 100% okay for them to complain about their workload, you know, and the, you know, they're still working hard. Speaking of Julian Karst, Traveler, I've heard that you can go in and out of there as you please. Of course, we've been there lots of times. Ah, oh, that's good news. Could you go to Julian Karst and find Miss Ganyu for us? Preferably before we collapse under this workload. Yeah, one hundred percent. Ah, ah, we're saved. I remember Miss Ganyu said that she'd be visiting Cloud Retainer's abode. You might as well start looking for her there. I mean, I like, I really like love finding a new stuff about these characters as well. So like, I'm not like upset about that whatsoever. It's about time she came back to work. Otherwise, oh. No, perhaps we should go to Lady Ningguang first and bring up our overtime pay again. The quest location is currently involved in the quest called Adepto Summons. Please complete it first. Are you serious? So Ganyu left to visit Cloud Retainer. Doesn't she live in Mel Outso? No! We should hurry up. Paimon hopes we can find her there. Are you joking? We have to do another quest? Let's- oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Um, I, I I don't know when I got this mission. Was it, oh, it was probably when I was farming for flowers. <laughs> Offered the delicious jewelry soup. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. It's fine. It's fine. We'll get through this together, guys. It's fine though. I thought like I I, I saw this mission and I was like, oh, what's this? Because I think I got it from like just collecting flowers. <laughs> Time to act. We need to make jewelry soup. Okay, hold on a second. We can cook over here and make jewelry soup. Crazy. <laughs> Where's jewelry soup? I'm sure we can make some as well. I'm sure, like, we have enough. There he is. Yeah, we have enough. Cook manually. And Ganyu can help us. Thank you, Ganyu. Not Ganyu, sorry. Yin, 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 Xin Yan. What is it, Shinyan? Ganyu. Shinyan up in the corner there. Body and mind. There you go. Uh, so we have to visit Cloud Retainer first. Okay, looks like we're doing two missions this time, guys. <laughs> looks like it's not over. Just want to see how you're doing. <laughs> Your business as a novel one. You simply came to wish me well and not to fulfill a wish of some other nature. Very well, so be a mortal. Mortal minds work in mysterious ways. I have no interest in attempting to understand them. 
Since you're so demonstrated the idle, idle at present, would you care to do me a small favor? Of course. Once upon a time when I made a modest breakthrough on my mechanical studies, I built for myself a dwelling in the clouds, suspended in the air. This dwelling in the clouds is built princip uh, principally from plostrite, supported by a multitude of other ign ign igneous features. In fact, the most marvelous feature of all was... Never mind, you would not understand even if I explained it. After construction of the dwelling in the clouds was complete, I left the blueprints there. I also added a seal, thinking that one of the true, uh, with true affinity with the blueprints might eventually obtain them. But no, to this day, the seal stands. It now seems needless bother to me to have the blueprints stored there. Perhaps you can retrieve them from the dwelling in the clouds for me? Sure. Such enthusiasm. Then do not delay. Deliver them to my abode when you have found them. For that, that is where I shall be waiting for you. Let's go. This is interesting. Uh, like, of course this stuff is going to happen, like, uh, eventually. You know? Like, you know, where we're going to get crossover with some missions. I have no problem doing them, though. Um... You know, and this was like, this could not be really prevented, really, because, like, obviously, like, like, when I got, you know, when I, I get, you get quests all the time just randomly walking through the, 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 ga the game, you know what I mean? You do. The one we may send is the one who uh, knows, uh, Kotop's top three mountains, the sun, the moon, the star. Oh, and okay, we know that. We already did this. So this was something that we, that was actually going to be a, a mission. Who remembers me struggling to do this last time? Uh, actually, we have... Kazuha. Into the wind. Right? So using him actually for this is actually a very smart idea. Is there anything around here that like we can use? Oh, what's happening here? This is this this I struggled with this, this before in fairness. I did struggle with this before. Oh here it is. Yeah. The wind knows me. Beautiful music right here too. Yeah, we found this before and we were just like, oh, this is cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's so weird right now, like, it's like... It's actually just, um... It's something that, like, actually is involved in the story. Like, if you do the story quest, and the quest, I imagine you will find a lot of stuff, like, but, like, sometimes I just like to explore, you know what I mean? <laughs> Kazuha, king of exploration here. Like, imagine him and Sayu just going around the place, able to explore everything. Meet my ski. It's crazy she says meet my ski all the time. It's like her catchphrase. Hand that to me. Oh, so we have to actually, actually go in and do the, the dungeon? Or is it just going to be a conversation? Oh, of course, it, ca it can't be. Yeah. How can it be like we, we fought everything before, so there's no point in like... To the wind. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Uh, I thought like, okay, that's 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 perfect, Calvin. Well done. Uh, <laughs> well done. Uh, actually, it is perfect still. Can we climb up on this? Can I climb on this? The wind knows me. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's not gonna work again. Or is it? It did work. Awesome. Uh, it's actually like kind of fun. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot of these story quests anyway. And like, not story quests, these world quests anyway. So, why not do them now? She's like, did you, did you do, did you fly past my puzzle again? Yeah. <laughs> oh God, Kazuba. These are indeed blueprints for my dwelling in the clouds. One is most pleased. You still haven't said what you're gonna... You must you continue to question me? Very well, consider you did make an offering. One has heard of a certain jade chamber that hangs in the air above Leeway, built by mortal hands. One has also heard of the mortal value size above all else. Yeah. And have a, uh, on this, the basis proceeded to declare that the said chamber is without parallel in all the world. Such are limits of mortal comprehension that fail to fathom the ingenuity of the Adepti. Jade chamber my foot glimpse of most trivial of my mechanical accomplishments would revel in the jade chamber would reveal the jade chamber to be an utterly tedious and mundane piece of work sore loser much to an, ade to an adepta yes nonsense i'm no loser nor am i afflicted with sores <laughs> i merely pity the foolish these mortals blind to adepti ingenuity but dazzled by the cruelest of cra crudest of craftsmanship I fear that will cause mechanics among the mortals to develop in a woefully mistaken direction it falls to me to point them down the right path the matter at hand is concluded. Leave at once. 
Oh. Wait, so this is actually like a quest we have to do? Leave domain. Wait, so we were, were we supposed to do the whole domain? <laughs> Wait, so can now can we do it if the location is different? I'll check here. I think we can. Yes. Okay, that was fine. Yeah. I was kind of like in this little nice little side thing, but it's not the over. There's sort of uh, world quests you have to do. We are going to be doing the world quest, by the way, as much as we can before um, we head on to Inazuma. I'm in no rush. I love this game so much that I don't want to rush um, playing through this game and then regret it later, you know? Time to go. Time to go, isn't that right, Kazuha? One with nature. Oh, there she is! Ganyu! <laughs> Person standing over there! That's Ganyu! We finally found her! Ganyu! Here you are! You two. I did Such not a cool design. The here. horns and all. Is it official or private affairs that bring you here? Private official. Oh, I shouldn't. I have left the human world. Please contact the Uahai Pavilion regarding matters concerning the commercial port. Uh, you seem different. Huh? You don't want to be the Chising secretary anymore? But they're all waiting for you to come back. <laughs> they are. They're, they're, they're like. It is. I guess it is strange for her to like not want to like be doing this work. That's why you're here. You want me to come back. I'm afraid you came here in vain. What? Did something happen? The clouds fold and unfold. The tide ebbs and flows. It was meant to be. This is so strange. I guess like she's she's quitting. When the Adepti entrusted humans with overseeing Leo, I knew it was oh, a matter of time okay. I had to leave. So she felt like she wasn't like uh, she wasn't uh, a part of it anymore. Like she wasn't like a part of like the the, the rebuild of Liyue. My adept high blood makes me unwelcome. No, I don't think Liyue it's. Harbor. I never saw them as being unwelcome to you guys. I delivered the letter and came back to Liyue Harbor, only to discover that I had been replaced by Baiwen, Bai Shao, and Bai Shu. Oh, really? Perhaps that mission of mine was just a pretext to remove me. Since the Chi Sing gave me a chance to leave with dignity, I decided to be tactful as well. I don't think anyone wants to get rid of you. I think they're just like trying to like give you some time to 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 yourself and stuff. Like I this is actually like so cool, but like also very sad. It's sad, but at the same time it's like how cool is it that like they're using the fact that she is half Adepti, has Adepti blood to like their advantage in the story to write a really cool story, you know? She feels as though, like, the people in Liyue don't, don't, you know, like, it's a huge misunderstanding. I appreciate your kindness, but there's no need for your words of comfort. After a thousand years away, I came back to Juyun Karst. Looking at the clouds floating among the mountains brings me peace of mind. I feel better now. Now, here's the thing. Like, there's, there's a double-edged sword here. Like, if she wants to go back, and she actually would want to go back, then we'd, they'd love to have her back. But also, at the same time, it's like... If she's happier now, let her relax. Uh, but you know what I mean? If she's happier now, Zhang Li is also doing a similar thing. He's like, you know, he's so happy now. Who disturbs the peace of these mountains? Dude, I am not sore, nor am I a loser. <laughs> Quote of the year. Cloud retainer? We're terribly sorry. We just... Paimon's respect for, like, these anyone who, like, gives out to her is so funny. One merely jests. One Are you serious? A joke? You made a joke? The moment you set foot upon this land. Yes, we just gave you some food. Wow, you adept! I really are impressive. Come here to chat about the old times with Ganyu. It looks like you get along quite well. Um, chat about the old times, get along. <sighs> Man, Ganyu's awesome though. Look at this. Look at even even like I didn't even notice like the hair from the back. It's really cool too. Ah, a matter leaves you at an impasse then. Not to worry. One is exceptional at seeking avenues for conversation. One has been one's own companion in idle talk for many a year. Ah, yes. Since you are Ganyu's friends, 
tales from her youth shall one apprise you of, perhaps? What, for real? Oh, cloud retainer. The eyes are beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. You were so cute as a child. One is most oh. certain that your friends would like to hear of it. I'm a bit curious indeed. Ooh, sure. Cameron wants to hear it. Uh, hmm. Little Ganyu loved when the horns oh. on the top of her head were <laughs> Little caressed. Little Ganyu. When one was still taking care of her, one was pestered most often to touch her horns. She was elsewise loath to sleep. <laughs> Lump she was back then. Why, when she stumbled while we ascended the mountain, no! she would roll down to the bottom like a little ball. <laughs> By the way, plump is like the best way that you can like, I think it's the most appropriate way you, like you can talk about like a child being like a little bit, you know, a little bit tubby, you know what I mean? Like plump. Like, uh, I always remember the line. It's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not big. I'm, f I'm festively plump. You know what I mean? And like, I love that. You know what I mean? Because there's nothing wrong with it. It's just really adorable. Pyro, <laughs> if we rolled you down a hill, you would roll for days. The day Not because you're plump, but because you're a chicken. Was the first time she saw a real human in the flesh. So fearful she was that she hid in a rock's cleft for two days and nights. One found her wailing of a monster she had seen. She hid, she hid it behind a rock? <laughs> Cloud retainer? I never seen Ganyu embarrassed yet. Forget it. It's about time for my training. I will take my leave. <laughs> was it seriously that embarrassing? I guess it was. Like, if, she, if she's embarrassed, you don't want to talk about it. I think you upset Ganyu. Ah, oh, one's intention was merely to relieve the awkward tension. You're definitely like a mother. Definitely for sure. And you did the exact opposite. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> well, like sometimes, like like you know, it's like especially like you know when you're opening up a new chapter in your life you know hearing about the old times when you like did some embarrassing stuff or something it can kind of feel a bit weird be that so huh but returning to ganyu most gladdened one is of your arrival hi everyone it's calm for the future and this is me just letting you know that there will be a short couple of second part coming up maybe about 20 seconds coming up that was muted the video game audio was muted and also later on there is a part that i cut out because there was a false copyright claim made not by genshin or anything to do with genshin but a third-party company that will um, copyright ambient sounds. Uh, so what happens then when they copyright an ambient sound, uh, they then pick random videos uh, on the internet to copyright. And my one was hit this time. This happens quite a bit to like creators, especially like I found out in the Genshin uh, creator space. There's a lot of uh, foreign creators that were complaining about this as well. And it doesn't happen to all videos because they copyrighted like ambient sounds leeway and called it um, GTA 6 music. Uh, would you believe? And so that happens sometimes. They will copyright some stuff like that sometimes. And it didn't happen 50, 40 episodes before. And it hasn't happened since I've recorded since then. So obviously it's just a random thing. They click on certain videos. I told YouTube about this. And their answer was just like, we take this very seriously. Which is an automated response. Um, they obviously don't take it seriously because I looked it up. And apparently this has been happening to channels for years. They clearly don't take it seriously i'm grateful for everything youtube uh, has done for my life uh but like i really wish that there could be more done about this type of stuff but here look i thought it was easier than repealing the um copyright and t taking 30 days than to just mute this part and then cut out the, the part at the end and you'll see how silly it was because it was literally just like something that never gets claimed like genshin as a company the hoyo uh, company is that what they're called uh they never ever copyright stuff and they are so smart with their stuff they know that creators making stuff about their content is actually a good thing uh, so i just thought i'd let you know guys know that we're not going to talk about this going forward because it's not going to happen again it won't happen again i'm pretty sure that they just pick videos at random i've done 60 parts of this series almost 60 parts of this series and it's never happened uh, but just to let you guys know where it's cut out here and why there's a cut uh, later on as well one cannot help but feel that remaining in Joyun okay Yeah, 100%. Like, like, it's an interesting character because, again, we don't know a lot about her, only what people have told us about her. And she's only interacted with us a few times. Oh! This is always gorgeous. Oh, it's beautiful! Her face rigid as a mask 
Wow. This is such a beautiful... Oh, wow. One did, by chance, hear this much of Ganyu's thoughts. Wait, so, like, she's still in, like... In Liyue, she still feels lonely, but, like, also she'll still feel lonely here because she still has, like... Like, it's a double-edged sword where it's, like... Like, I keep saying double-edged sword, but, like, that's probably not the right expression. It's more just, like, it's a... It's, like... she Because she's half adept die, she feels out of place sometimes in Liyue. And because she's half human, she's eventually gonna feel... Clabertarian's worried she's gonna feel out of place being by herself. Because humans crave, like, you know, uh, companionship in some ways. You know what I mean? If that makes sense? Alone, she will find her predicament hard to conquer. One hopes that you will accompany her. I will, I will, I will, I will, 100%, especially for you guys, since you helped us so much, too. Oh, Retainer's right. We can't leave Ganyu depressed like that. Besides, Liyue hasn't given up on her. She's got it all wrong. Anyways, what's that training Ganyu was talking about? She has sought to reclaim her adeptus side since returning to join oh, the right. past. At her behest, one has organized training for her to achieve that end. You see these stories a lot in like and they're actually very good to talk about because um especially like with like religious stuff, where like someone feels like, you know, they no longer feel comfortable, you know, around the people in the religion let's say or something like that um but then like when they go to a new place it's take it's like they feel like they're really free and refreshed but then they might miss the people you know what I, you know what i mean it's it's like there is stories of like people who lived kind of like are half half this half that and sometimes it can feel like okay i'm this and i'm that i don't feel comfortable here i don't feel comfortable totally in here either you know she should be in the southern part of mount Alphon i'll help i'll help right out this, this sounds so interesting trial. this sounds so yeah. interesting Let's go take a look then. So cool. Yeah, the Adepti and stuff, I guess, in the game, like, is, is so well implemented. Like, it's so well implemented because, like, they do have this, like... Like, I think one of the things they've done with, like, the Adepti in this game is that they've made them into, like, some of the most interesting characters in the game. Uh, but they don't... Like, how do I say? They're not forgotten about you. Oh my god, look at that. What the hell? But they're also, like, not... They're not like these characters that like it's like they could have so easily gone down the route of like they are the most amazing gods and they are so omnipotent. And like most games do that, you know, where they're just like standing there being omnipotent. Like like Cloud Retainer feels like a mother here, you know what I mean? Embarrassing her daughter. Um Xiao is just like, yes, he carries the weight of this terrible burden that happened through his life, but also at the same time, he loves just like a bit of tofu. You know what I mean? He loves a bit of food by himself. Um you know, I really feel like that's one of, like, the, the sweetest aspect. Even, like, the gods themselves, Zhongli is like, I'm a god, but, like, man, I much prefer being a human now. You know, I've, I I much prefer because of the pain that is brought. Like, you know, they talk about the pain of being a god, the pain of being an adeptus, the pain of, like, having to look, look over this land, how hard it can actually be. Um, I love it. I absolutely love what they've done with the, um, the, adept the adeptus and adepti in this game and the gods and the archons. Um, Venti's another example of that too. I think they've just done such a good job. Your fate. Oh yeah, switch right as I'm, as I'm, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think they've done such a fantastic job with the stories of the dead. And like, honestly, like, as well, putting a half adept eye, half human in this game too, is something that like, you know, you'd be like, oh, well that seems like a natural thing, but like not everyone's gonna think of that, especially in this sense. So I actually do applaud it. I applaud what they do here. To make the Adepti feel so relatable. 
Like, because whenever I, like, meet Xiao, like, you guys know I treat him like a best friend. But there's still that air of, like, oh, he is, an, he is like, an important figure. You know what I mean? He is an important figure. And he knows that, too. Um, I think that's super cool what they've done. They've retained their godliness while also making them relatable. That's probably the best way to put it. Well, we could have done that way better if we didn't have uh, Ka Kazuha, but like honestly, like it was fine. So how how far away is that? It's actually not far away at all. We just traveled here and uh, get it from here. Honestly, like if I knew she was uncomfortable with being like embarrassed like that, I wouldn't have done it either. I feel kind of bad, but. I think everything will be okay. Hey, girl, it's me and you. Cool design, girls. We're the duo. Oh, hi, hi, Yumi, Yami, Yumi, <laughs> That's what it reminded me of for a second for some reason. I know they're like, it's pink and purple hair, but for some reason, like, the vibe, you know? Does anyone get it? Anything is possible now. So here you are, Ganya. Why did you come here? We want to keep you company. I'd like to try to step this training. Like, yeah, that's better. Yeah, just don't Is make you feel so? uncomfortable. You really are interested in the ways of Adepti. This trial was prepared by Cloud Retainer. Its goal is to help me feel like an Adeptus again. The training is much to her signature style. I hope it won't make it seem like she is too unaware of the abilities of others. Is it difficult? Plumber's like, am I going to have to do some work? <laughs> Is this going to be painful? No, I'm aware of your strength, Traveler. The power hidden within you is not inferior to mine. If you're ready, we shall begin the training. Yeah, I think asking to do the training instead of like, hey, we're looking out for you, like puts the pressure off the conversations that are going to be happening, you know, and we can like maybe dwell a little bit deeper, you know what I mean? One of my, like, the things I always like would say, like, you know, if I'm, if someone's upset, uh, you know, especially someone who's like in a very... You know, in a very term, tumultuous, tumult I can't, why can't I say the word, tumult tumultuous state? Um, like, you will, like, often, like, you know, going up to them being like, hey, how are you? Are you okay? We'll tell, we'll probably get them very angry. But I always find it's much better to be like, if they're safe, they're like, you're, they're drawing something. You go up and be like, oh man, can I draw too? You know? Or if they're going, if they're like, um, you know, listen to music, you're like, oh, can I listen to? You know, and just like make it, take the pressure off. You know, take the pressure off of them accepting your help. You know what I mean? Oh, wait. Oh! Oh, Ganyu! Wait, we'll activate 12 elemental monuments. Wait, what? Access denied. What was that? Wait, how do we get up there? How do you... Huh? I... Oh, wait. Aiming mode. Oh, it's a shoot thing. Oh, okay. She's 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 an archer. <laughs> My bad. I was like, what, what, what are you doing to me? So she's an archer. Okay, I didn't even realize. Oh, and then we can do this as well. Man, that's a cool, cool, cool design. Like we do. Like I, I always like like that. Like whenever I was like um, designing, like you know, there's always something so cool. Maybe it's from Tekken. We're not gonna collect. Wait, I will collect these. Thank you. Because I don't think I ever. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but we did it. Where's the next one? Down here. Um, like whenever like I was playing Tekken and like Nina Williams had like the the back out of her dress. It's like there's something always like that's so sick about that. You know, it's so cool. There's a lot of gliding around. It does feel like something Cloud Retainer would come up with. I don't know if we're gonna get this in time, guys. I think I I think I slowed down to start, which wasn't good. Um, yeah, I definitely s slowed this down. But we can try. Like we're not gonna give up. <laughs> Don, you's awesome, man. Oh, we upgraded our stamina a lot. Look at that. Huh? Do you see that? That's a, that was actually like like an actual big upgrade. No touching. Take all those. Uh, huh? Um. And then oh, we should have gone up here. Okay, now I see it. And we could have shot them. That's my bad completely. I'm such an idiot with this stuff sometimes. Um, we're definitely not going to get this this time around, I don't think, but... Wow! Ganya's a really awesome shooter! 
Yeah, uh, she is, but like, the, of an adeptus, the poor girl has surprised. Calvin shooting for her, so. <laughs> so it's contextually breaking for everyone at home. Kanye's a really good shooter. Uh, I don't, I, oh, no. Oh, I think I can do it this way. Oh, oh. There we go. Come on, we, we lost, we, we avoided every single thing along the way. There we go. Oh, we can do this. I think we can do this. It's not going to be in a good amount of time. Wrong button. Nice. And then over here as well. Oh. They're being very nice to us. Oh, yeah, we, we can do this. Yeah, like, we, we should have done this in a way quicker amount of time. But... Still, I'm very happy with that. You know, at least we did it. We've completed the task. What do you think? Being an adeptus is not easy, let's be honest. Hardships are a fact of life, both for the adepti and humans alike. Ganyu, what were you planning to do once your training was over? The training's not over yet. The part prepared by Cloud Retainer is only the She's first She's taking trial. this very seriously. Huh? So there are more trials prepared by other Adepti? Mountain Shaper and Moon Carver? No. The only Adeptus who can unlock my true potential is... Who is it? Conqueror of Demons. Huh. So it's Shell. That cold-hearted loner? How come he's prepared a trial for you? Because he's the best. I found him unapproachable at first, too. Oh? But I believe that being able to face him is an important Okay, part that's of actually a really good way of looking at it. Like, we're going to have to talk to Xiao? He's already waiting for me. <gasps> oh my god. Come along if you're interested. Awesome. Okay, let's go. I'm. Of yes. We are. Let's Look go. how pretty this looks. Oh no, I'm not interested in talking to Xiao, actually. Sorry. It's so sick. Oh, but look, we're above the clouds. We're going to get talk to Xiao. That's sick, like, as well, like, that uh, he prepared a trial for as well. He's actually, like, the thing is, though, Xiao is a good person. And, like, he cares about people. He's just, like, uh, just a very, like, he's very prickly. You know what I mean? He, he does care about people. Um, he's not just someone who, like, um, will turn his back on people. Is that him? Wait, hold on a second. Two seconds, guys. Sorry. So sorry. We have to drop over here. Okay, it looks like it's kind of reflective here. Okay, fix the hair. Hair outfit. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, look at the flowers here. This whole place is gorgeous. Where are you? Where are you? Hi, Shao. My favorite literally my favorite character in all of Genshin. For real. Oh, the arms crossed already? Guard up. You're half an hour late. I see you still haven't abandoned the wrongful ways of human. <laughs> oh god, you got you got got. I'm sorry. I had a meeting with Cloud Retainer. I I don't need your explanations and don't require any mutual understanding between us. I'm just helping you with your training. That's all. Xiao is such a strict teacher. You're neither an adeptus nor a human. Always treading the line between the two worlds. It must create a lot of confusion. Yep, yeah, I mean, she's confused herself. I think she just doesn't want to admit it yet. Instead of explaining yourself to me, you should face your true self. I... I have nothing to hide. It seems that Xiao understands Ganyu quite well. Xiao might be a good teacher after all. I mean, like, he is, like... This is the thing about, like, like the adept like Xiao and like Cloud Retainer, but, like, Xiao especially has, like, a very big understanding of humans because he's been around humans for so long. This dude, this is a dude that gets his lunch at, like, one of the most populated inns in all of uh, Liyue. The body and the mind are one. If something worries your mind... He's so smart. ...your body can help you find a solution. The trial I've prepared for you will explore the true potential of your body. Yes. <sighs> I'm ready. Are we gonna have to, do we do the task? We're actually doing the task four, which is actually a very interesting thing. I can hear it here. So, 
We have to... Man, we're actually doing these tasks. That's super cool, okay. So we're going to have to defend the ley line, it looks like. So defeat 26 monsters? I'll do, I'll do you one better. I'll defeat 85 monsters. Oh wait, superconduct time. As you wish, main Froilein. I want to use Ganyu for this, like, because, you know, we're not going to get a, ch a chance to use Ganyu all the time. You know what I mean? We're not all these guys. You know what I mean? We're not going to get a chance to use Ganyu every second of the day. Come on. Focus. Born of ice and frost. Next on the... Like, in fact, we might not get a chance to use her again. You never know. So this is her special move. Oh. Oh, and like, look at the oh, just constant AOE damage. That's so sick. The wind knows me. I wanted to do one of those just for fun. Look okay, who's next. We should use our whole team as well, by the way. We're not gonna be silly about this. By royal decree. Cause look official. <laughs> just destroying these guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's not be too silly about this, you know what I mean? I like being a little silly. You guys know I like being a little silly. Little iron sting happened. Wait. Oh, there's monsters over here too. I didn't even notice you guys. Little super conduct happening here. Okay, who... Actually, I think it might be a good idea to set off this for these guys over here. To have them, like, get electrocuted a bit. And then let's do this for these guys. Wait, did they... Oh, they... it reversed and went back to the guys who were... Oh, maybe... Did it? That's weird. Midnight Phantasmagoria. Born of ice and frost. I love uh, the move and moving back from them as well so she can shoot them too is like a really cool feature. You know what I mean? Like uh, the whole like, huh, and then be able to move them back like this. Uh, I'm just doing for this, the heal and the buff. By royal, by royal decree, and then do this. For Rex Lapis. She's great. This is a super fun story mission, by the way. That was super fun. Clear weather all around, bright and Wasn't it that, that, that this is just the idea that we're just doing these Adeptus trials for Ganyu is so much fun. I've completed your trial. You don't have to report back to me. Oh. Seeking other people's validation. He's like that's such a human thing. Training. Only you can evaluate the result of this trial. You'll um, Sorry. I, sometimes my finger does slip when I'm through this up, but yeah. Xiao always has such strong opinions. That lone wolf is truly admirable. From tomorrow on, I'll start raising the difficulty of your training, so you'll have to... <sighs> oh, he's thinking about something. I have to do what? Uh, another one of those pesky visitors. <laughs> he's just like, I love... This is why my relationship with Xiao means so much to me, because he can tolerate us, you know what I mean? I'll leave him to That's you, what feels Ganyu. good. It's also a part of your training. He likes us. Pesky visitor? So even here, there are those that Xiao can't deal with? Zhao, Zhao is a person who likes to eat his meal. And I think as well, like, he, he is, like, capable of friendship. We've seen he's capable of friendship. He's our friend as well. Like, we love him to pieces. Um, You know, put a bee in front of it, too. Like, the thing is, like, some people are like that, though. And he's like someone who has like experienced so much pain. I think there is an element to him that he doesn't want to make too many friends and have them be hurt as well, you know? Oh, oh heavens. Blessed be Rex Lapis. I've finally come upon the Adepti. Are all of you the Adepti of this mountain? Pi just Paimon. Uh, great. My name's Jim <laughs> Jones. <laughs> We're just like, oh God. I ask for your merciful blessings, oh Adepti. I beg of you, please grant me luck. Wealth and a good career. Oh, so 
it's a pilgrim. Such a materialist. I can see why Zhao finds this type troublesome. Yeah, I agree. Huh. He can handle any battle, but talking to strange humans is a different yeah. story, huh? He's uh he's definitely someone who um you know struggles with that. I am also one of the adepti. You can say that I feel I'm so an bad for Ganyu, training. man. She's in a, definitely in like a, a, a twilight of her, like, uh, like a change, I suppose. Perfect. I didn't come in vain then. Although you sound a bit half-hearted. That uh, doesn't matter. What blessings can you grant me? Wow. Straight to the point, huh? Dear Pilgrim, you shouldn't jump to conclusions. Adepti don't help every pilgrim for free. For free? Do you mean that you charge people for the blessings of the Adepti? Yeah. Ah, uh, that's not what I meant. Big money. 10,000 more. What I'm more. trying to say is that everything should be earned through hard work and earnest living. It would be unfair to other people if you got everything true. you wanted for no Very reason. True. Very true. And like, imagine having to like, do that for everyone. Hold on, hold on. I've heard this all before. You're just like my old man, always nagging me. Bro. Okay, hold on a second. If you come to meet the Adepti, and the first thing you do is start comparing Ganyu to your old man. Your father must have experienced it firsthand. The lives of the common folk are riddled with hardships, but are also full of joy. A person of your age should focus on work and family. Instead of chasing after fairy tales. It's not a bad, fa not bad advice. Are you a real adeptus? Why do you speak and behave like us city folk? Bro, you're not going to be disrespecting Ganyu in front of me. You sure you're not one of those swindlers who pose as an adeptus to cheat people out of their money? Show some respect. Ugh, how dare you reprove me? I bet you came here looking for the adepti yourself. First of all, Paimon is a deity yourself. Second of all, like, we're friends with these guys. We know these guys. We did come here looking for Ganyu after Yeah, but all. I think the difference is we didn't come looking for Ganyu to help ourselves. We looked for Ganyu to help her. Eh, enough. Doesn't matter if you're a real adeptus or not. You're useless. I'm leaving. Sometimes I think it's okay for us to attack people. You know? Like, imagine me, Ganyu, Shao, Paimon. Uh, we could invite Cloud Retainer as well. And we jump up behind the tree. No one will know. <laughs> Beat him with a Nobody's few phone books so it doesn't cause a bruise. You, you know? Uh, Ganyu, don't let that guy ruin your mood. Uh, it's not his behavior. The things he said. He was right. I thought that coming back to Juyun Karst and devoting myself to training would make me feel like an adeptus again. But being questioned by him made me realize that I... Huh. <sighs> I don't think it's, it's it's as cut and dry as you're better off sticking to it. So we'll say we'll say go back to Liyue Harbor with us. But I'm unwelcome in Liyue Harbor. You're not. As an adeptus, I... Can you believe a human like me just this once? We told you it was misunderstanding, we'll say. We'll tell you. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Just Why would we lie us. to you, man? Uh... All right. I'll go with you to Leoa Harbor. That said, I still trust my initial judgment. That's fine. That's fine. We can we can deal with that when we get to it. Like, you know what I mean? We like we're not here to brainwash you or anything. If I'm proven right, I'll return to Juyun Karst once again. It's a step in the right direction. Let's go. Time so you have to go back to Liyue yeah. and the secretaries. Yeah, like, this is a really interesting story quest and actually very fun. Like, doing the trials was, like, a really fun thing to do in this game. Wait, here? No, we don't want to go there. That's the Archon quest. We got to be careful with that. It's in this direction, so we can just go here like this. Yeah. We gotta be careful with, like, activating the Archon quest and then, like, cutting off, like, 50 other quests. You know what I mean? Oh, 
Who knows? Maybe it's already uh, activated. <laughs> Maybe it's already done. Oh, wow. It lit up as soon as we got there as well. This is a really good team as well, guys. Man, I forget. Like, this is... I remember we saw this for the first time when during the lantern ride. It was gorgeous. We're finally back! <laughs> that, that line reading. Uh, I'm still... It's okay. We're here with you as well. Come on, Ganyu. We're almost there. You don't want to turn back now, do you? And we can also say as well, hey, listen. If anyone says anything to you, we will jump them behind the tree. I suppose you have a point. It would be quite impolite of me to leave the two of you now. That's right. Where do you want to go first, then? I've spent too much time in the mountains. The first thing that comes to my mind is the sea. Let's go for a walk in the port. Happy to come with. So well, this is actually just going to be a nice little stroll with Ganyu, but I imagine I like, like uh, we're going to be interacting with some other characters too, because we did, you know, Xiao made it a, a note of it to, to talk about, like, you know, his, her human side. The guy we met there that was very rude made a note to talk about that Ganyu, Ganyu still talks like a human. Time to go. I imagine we'll be doing a lot of interaction with with characters like that. Oh, we, we just warped over here. There we go. Ain't that right? Wait, I did my commissions, but never got the commission reward. Do I still get my commission? Can I still collect my commission rewards up here? Add Astra. Is that something I can have? You can. Thank awesome. You for comp nice. Add Astra. And we can send people out on uh, dispatch again. Yeah, thank you. We're actually far off from doing another wish, though. I don't think we do another wish yet. Yeah, we're far off from doing another wish. But we'll be fine. Like, guys, like, it's like, this should not a big deal. Like, if we don't get Lenny, we don't. Oh, wait! We can now buy our other wishes. Hold on a second here. Shop. I think we can, can't we? Yes, we can. Wait, no, it's not it. It's this. Yes, we can. And these ones. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll do it every once in a while. We'll do a little wish. Although, like, it's probably, like, too much to ask to get another wish on the standard batter. I get another, uh... Okay, a four-star. four-star weapon? I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take a Benny. You kidding me? Like a Benny constellation? So good. Nice. I like the background here. We get two more of these. Like we like to, for me. Like I've already gotten so much that I can't ask for anymore. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm not, you know, it's not going to be too crazy about it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wish on the other fates as well. But right now we have to get down here and see where Ganyu wants to do it in here. Just take a stroll, you know? Take a stroll. If anyone annoys you, we'll literally jump them. Behind the tree. The sound of the waves in this familiar port. The smell of the sea breeze makes me nostalgic. Ganyu, you didn't leave Lira for that long. Why do you look so moved? Well, I used to be so busy. I haven't taken a stroll around here in a long time. Huh, that's true. Ganyu seemed to be working all the time. Well, when I think about my time here, I've spent most of it behind a desk filing documents. Okay. It put me in a certain mood, similar to the one I felt during Doing documents? in Juyun Karst, in fact. Is that... It is! It's Lady Ganyu. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought I'd meet you here. You were always so terribly busy. 
Lady Ganyu? Why are you calling her that? Uh, Little Miss Ganyu? Uh, please don't also Yeah, we won't, we won't. I'm sorry, that. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce Uncle Tien. He is... That's all right. Just tell them the truth. They have done so much for Liu, after all, and I am the one who has yet to introduce myself. Uncle Tien is a member of the Liu Chising, the Tianshu. What? This grandpa is a member of the Chising? <laughs> the same rank as Ningguo? Oh, wow. Hush now. I must ask for your discretion concerning my identity. Sure. Fishing in the port and strolling about are the greatest pleasures of my life. I have no wish to be followed around by those armed guards. In most people's eyes, there's a lot of that I'm in leeway, isn't it? Where people just want you to live a normal life. Man. <laughs> hmm. Uncle Tian is too modest. He's been around for a long time. There's no one who can replace a person of such noble character. I tried to remember if I ever messed with him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what an honor to receive such high praise from Lady Ganyu herself. I guess I must have done something right over the last, oh, however many decades. Uncle Tian, please. A person of your standing should really stop calling me Lady Ganyu. Uh, my apologies. It's not intentional, just a habit from my younger days. <laughs> Thank you for looking after me when I first ascended to my position in the Chi Sing. Oh, so you've been friends for many decades now, huh? Oh, I was just fulfilling my duties as the Chi Sing secretary. She's so modest. It's nothing worse. So of modest, and we've heard already she works so hard. Talking about secretaries, oh, I don't know if I should bring it up. Uh, Ganyu, I believe you know my daughter, Huesin. She seems to be a bit troubled recently. Oh, really? Yes, she works at Yuahai Pavilion, and she's my junior. How can I help her? <laughs> I don't know myself, really. Uh, She's all grown up now and doesn't like to ask for my help. All right. <laughs> May I trouble you to meet her at UAI Pavilion? She just needs a bit of guidance. With pleasure. Solving the Chi-Sing's problems has always been in my job description. She's back in character, just like that, huh? <laughs> I'm afraid Ganyu didn't even notice. Let's move then to UAI Okay. Yeah, like this is probably good to get back into like the like the idea that people actually need her and people want her here, you know what I mean? Um Like I think there's probably a happy medium though between this, isn't there? There has to be like a happy medium. Where she can like uh like be you know herself. Just just be yourself. Look at these kids over here. Let's jump, we know Terry Oh no, he can jump. You ruined my joke, Terry. You ruined my joke. I was gonna pretend you couldn't jump. You ruined my joke. You ruined my joke. Time to go. Guys, I'm gonna break this this uh, halfway through this video. We're gonna stop the video because I have to give you a sponsorship that I got for AFK journey. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> the AFK journey ads are everywhere, man. <laughs> AFK Journey is a game that you can play with your phone. And it you can get all these characters and they're they're cool. And guess what? Uh, this video is sponsored by AFK Journey. Miss <laughs> <sighs> Ganyu, it's been too long. I don't know why, but seeing you brings me a sense of peace in these chaotic times. Indeed, it has been a while, Huixin. I'm flattered, but aren't you exaggerating? See, she bit? doesn't believe her own hype. She doesn't believe it. I heard that you've encountered some problems and came to see if I could be of some help. <sighs> My father asked you to come, didn't he? Yes. Abusing his status as a member of the Chi Sing to trouble you. <laughs> no trouble. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm always happy to help a junior colleague from Yuahai Pavilion. Ganyu's not only a competent secretary, but also a great mentor. Yep, and this thing, she doesn't believe her own hype even though everyone is saying that she's the best. So... 
what can you tell me about the problem? Ugh, where should I start? I discovered something strange while organizing tax records. There are obvious irregularities in the tax declarations of two stores, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique. However, whether I question the shopkeepers or check their accounts, I, I can't seem to make any progress with my investigation. Okay. Without any evidence, my hands are tied. I see. It's not uncommon for merchants to be blinded by greed. Well, is there any solution you can advise? Naturally. I've dealt with similar issues hundreds of times. Give me a moment to consider the best approach in this scenario. There's thousands of years of work experience for you. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's approach it this way then. Your enemy knows you best. Huh? If I remember correctly, Second Life and Wanyo Boutique are old business rivals, competing for market share due to their similar wares. Hmm. In that case... In that case... Ah! I know what you mean, Ms. Ganyu. I still don't get it. You wanted to expose each other? Ms. Ganyu plans to let them expose okay. each yeah, other. Okay, yeah, I wasn't sure, so I'm not going to say something I'm not sure of. Exactly. You know what I mean? That'd be kind of silly. Let's start with Wanyo Boutique. The owner's name is... Folai, isn't it? Uh, yes, you're right. Follow me, please. Let's go. It's kind of nice seeing, yeah, seeing how important Ganyu is to this place. Oh, there's sweet flowers here, too. Time to go. Okay, I didn't even know that. Silk flowers, I should say. Time to go. So we have another collection point, but the collection point oh, to have right now outside Wang Shuin is actually perfect, and it's just like the right amount to make it worth going there. Hello, I'm not here for books right now. Yeah, we're cre we collect all all the stuff. Oh, it's starting to get sunrise. We start to collect all the side, uh, like uh, flowers every single day now. It's down below. Yes. We've been here before. Aha! We meet again, traveler. And you must be from the Yuhai Pavilion? <laughs> I suppose you're about to place a big order. I'd be honored to offer you my wares. That won't be necessary, Mr. Bolai. Again, she's so respected. Wanyo Boutique's credit is not sufficient to accept orders directly from Yuhai Pavilion. Should we need to place such an order, we would certainly go to Second Life instead. What? Second Life? <laughs> I guess she's a little too honest. Ugh. That rascal. Oh no, she's, yeah, she's exposing you them. She's trying to get put customers. them against each other. Well, Second Life's credit has always been excellent, and based on their tax records, their business is thriving. <laughs> oh, hmm. Tax records? <laughs> thriving? Huh. Is there anything you'd like to share with us, Mr. Bolai? Don't let that rascal fool you. I know his dirty tricks best. If you don't believe me, show me his tax records. I'm sure I'll find something fishy in there. Yeah, okay, so this is actually working very well. Ganyu again just like doing this like so like without like blinking almost. You know Second Life's business so well? Of course. Ugh, their every transaction makes my blood boil. I'd rather lose money myself than see that rascal make some. That's real petty. Well then, please look over this tax record. <laughs> we'll read you soon so calm credit based on your observations. Oh, of course. I'll read very, very carefully. Line by line and word by word. Well, I take some time to examine the Second Life's tax record. Ah, here I found it. That exquisite wooden furniture set he bought from Fanmu Carpenters at the beginning of the year. Ugh, he even flaunted it in front of me. Look at the tax record. Not a word about that furniture. And he kept all the profit for himself. 
I see. He must have gotten rid of all the documents related to this transaction. No wonder there was no trace of it. Hmm, <laughs> I told you so. Just as I expected. Ugh, I can't wait to watch him squirm. But, Ms. Ganyu, despite all this, can't he just flat out deny ever making this transaction? He might have destroyed all the evidence, but I believe the supplier, Fanmu Carpenters, might still have some proof of it. Aha, uh -huh, you're right. Master Lu from Fanmu Carpenters must still have the invoice. He wouldn't be swayed by the likes of Dongsheng. It's so funny how worked up this guy got so quickly. So. Let's go to Fanmu Carpenters. It should be near Chingsa Village. Thank you for shining a light on this case, Mr. Balai. Oh, please, please, that's nothing. I just hope you won't be lenient with him once you find the evidence. That's the best way to show your gratitude. <sighs> I'm afraid I can't go to Chingsa Village. Why not? It's all right, Weishin. You can stay in Liyue Harbor and finish your work. Leave the rest Again, to us. Again, look at this. Like, she's such a hard worker, so caring. Everyone needs her. Oh, and she doesn't even see it. So considerate of you. Still, I'm sorry to trouble you like that. <laughs> and still, she doesn't even see it. So you have to go to, uh... All the way up here, actually. Jesus Christ, it's, a far, it's far away, isn't it? I think we know who we're talking about here as well. We talked to this guy before. Man, this is such a cool location too. It was so cool. Remember like we were going through Leeway and like exploring this area like, oh my God, like, oh, this part, this part. And like bit by bit, the first time we saw it was so amazing. It was so miraculous. It felt like magic. Leeway is gorgeous. I'll take these as well, the ch chilies. Time to go. Yeah, we've talked to this guy before. We had a, we did this. He did the stage for us, for the storyteller. Ah, welcome, welcome. How can an old carpenter like me help you? <laughs> I'm usually happy to take new apprentices, but uh, I'm afraid I can't take too many at once. Uh, but I'm always around if you're keen for a chat. <laughs> Chingsa really is full of lonely old people. <laughs> No filter Paimon comes out again. Hey, I heard that. Flying one. Hey! She's not a flying one, she's a chicken. Uh, Paimon, sorry. Master Lu, we've just come to see you and ask you some questions. Chickens can fly, people say. Hmm, well that makes... Thanks for confirming the evidence. <laughs> ah, don't worry, I know. You're from the UI Pavilion, right? Why would the Chi-Sing care about an old man like me? Well, whatever. You said that you want to ask me something. Ask away, then. <laughs> You're very direct, Master Liu. I will be plain. We're looking for proof that Dongsheng from Second Life has been evading taxation. Dongsheng bought some furniture from you at the beginning of the year. Do you still have the invoice or any other record of that transaction? Oh, it's about Second Life. It was a big order. Hmm. How could I forget? Sure enough, Mr. Balai was right. Could we perhaps borrow that invoice? We won't have any evidence to bring against Dongsheng otherwise. Well, of course you can. But I'm not so sprightly anymore. No. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, I only do my woodwork and display finished wares here at Fonmu Carpenters. As for old documents and such, I keep them all in a warehouse west of here. But some troublemakers have recently moved there, invading. So we're gonna warehouse. have to beat some people up. Uh, I tried to drive them away, but they just wouldn't leave. Since you need that invoice anyway. It may be best to get it from the warehouse yourself. And while you're at it, you can teach those louts a lesson. Yeah, sure. So that's what happened. I see. I I'm still always amazed by then. how calm Ganyu is in these situations. Which get, get as you like we said, comes from experience.
Okay. You... Take back the warehouse, find the invoice. Time for us to show our stuff in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think I saw one of those troublemakers. Ah, uh, over there. Oh, Paimon Oh, the they're two. the big boys. Uh, it's one of the Fatui. What's he trying to do? They must be plotting something against Liyua Harbor. Maybe they're the scoundrels who invaded Master Lu's warehouse. Should we observe them? No, let's just get them. Ever since Osile attacked the harbor, the Fatui's reputation in Liyua has reached rock bottom. We won't cause a serious diplomatic crisis by getting into some small scuffle with the Fatui within our borders. Yep. You and the same thing worry. happened in Mondstadt with what Signora did at the gate. Because now people, like, there's no, like, like we talked to one of the guys, uh, one of the Fatui members in Mondstadt, and he was like, yo, um, they want me to leave. They don't want me here anymore because of what Signora did. Um, which is so realistic. It's so good. And also, can I say as well how I love that they're showing two sides to this, how Ganyu excelled with the the Adeptus stuff, and also now is excelling with the human side stuff as well. Besides, I can already feel their malicious intentions. Consider it... my intuition as the secretary of the Chising. Waiting for. Let's go teach him a lesson. Let's go. Yeah, it's so realistic, like the way they did that with the Fatui, like how um they were kind of like seen as uh they were already on edge with people with them around there, but now they have reason to attack like to attack them. Like there's no because of what happened with child and all that stuff that happened in Leeway, there's no like there's no like, no one's going to think less of us for attacking them anymore, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not going to be like a thing like, which is, you know, in some cases it's sad because, like, you know, we love Child. Uh, the guy in Mondstadt isn't just, like, he isn't wholly terrible, you know, he's not all the way, like, oh, he's a bad guy, you know what I mean? Uh, he's just, like, you know, how do I say it? He's, like, he's, he's, he, he's like, obviously, like, not all Fatui members are going to agree with every single aspect of what the Fatui does. Into the wind. Bro, you stop this now, I'd say. There we go, we'll melt that. It's ice, is it? It's ice, okay. Bro, get out of the water. You've made it hard. I can't, I'm gonna, I can't do anything in that. I will die. Thank you. One with nature. Not going Wait, so we damaged them a little bit and they're going to talk now? <laughs> oh, you scoundrels. You're a scoundrel. I think you've had enough. About time you tell us your plan. No? Plan? What plan? Yo, what plan are you doing, huh? We just taught you a lesson, but clearly you weren't paying attention. <laughs> that means we will go again. If you don't spill whatever you're scheming yep. against Liyue, we'll be forced to use harsher methods. I think we were harsh enough. Quick, tell us everything. I'm telling the truth. There's no scheme. If you're telling the truth, then why would you, a member of the Fatui, suddenly appear on the outskirts of Chingsa Village? Fine. If you really want to know, then, well, I was about to. About to... About to what? Pick berries over there. No way. This is what I'm talking about. Some of two members are just, like, living their lives. Um... I must admit, I didn't expect you to come up with such a silly excuse. <laughs> Look how pretty this is, by the way. It's not an excuse. I rarely have a free morning, and I heard that there were fresh berries in this area. Think about it. I'm here alone, and Chinksa Village is nothing more than a retirement spot for old people. What could I be scheming anyway? Hey, don't, don't, don't bring logic into this. Judging by how he's looking at us, it does seem like he feels like he's the victim. <laughs> we victimized the between member, yeah. So you have nothing to do with the occupation of Fanmu Carpenter's Warehouse? Fanmu Carpenter's Warehouse? Where's that? It's so weird we're talking to a big boy like this. I swear, I only came here to pick berries. That's all. 
So it wasn't the Fatui Look how pretty we all look at this. After all. We might have blamed it for nothing. I also feel Is this gonna make her doubt herself a little bit? The truth. Uh, um, whoopsie. Yeah, whoopsie. Whoopsie it's just big whoopsie. I misjudged the situation and offended you. My apologies. Our uh our exchange only represents my personal views. If oh you my god, no so, no, you can't file, you can a, complaint. file a complaint. You cannot the Ministry of Civil Affairs. You cannot. Exchange? <laughs> this woman. She's clearly aware that the Ministry of Civil Affairs wouldn't side with us, Fatui. Oh my god, why is the ground shaking? Yes, precisely. As an alternative, you may try to solve this problem with force once again. Wait, she literally is like, hey, she's give she's giving him avenues he can't win in either one. That is a pure oh my god. Fantastic politician. Well done, Ganyu. Paimon's in! <laughs> Darn you. How that is, yeah, she, I, I was the first time she was giving in. She literally was giving him like two this. options that he cannot do. What's your choice then? <laughs> I'll get back to my berries. Good choice. I'm not gonna say the Vatui get what they deserve because, again, we have we are friends with a few Vatui members. Sweet ending. I made a laughing stock out of myself. I might have spent too much time. One with simple her mistake. Work. My intuition is not as accurate as it used to be. These boys attack me on sight every time I see them, Ganyu. No worries. It's always nice to teach Yeah, to those you are the guys who will literally attack you on sight anyway. <laughs> Let's keep moving towards Master Lu's warehouse. Our goal is to get the invoice, after all. Um, And also, we didn't attack him first. He attacked us first. We just showed up behind him and he started attacking us. So, in reality, you know, he, he attacked us first. Man, we actually get to walk up these stairs. Um, what's yeah? I love. I like the story as well. I like what they're doing with the with with Ganyu. She's actually is a very interesting character. Um, but yeah, the Fatui is one of the most interesting thing too. Like I said, we're friends with Child. We're also friends with um. Oh, they're just hilly churls. We're also friends with uh, that guy in the church who actually we've done many things for before. As one with wind and cloud. Into the wind. And the physical damage ain't bad. Oh, reinforcements coming. Across the bridge? Oh, you guys are so sick. As you wish, main storyline. But, like, across the bridge just means you're gonna die. Overload. Fusion. Oh, they're coming up the other way, too. Oh, we'll have to come to the other side of the bridge. So sick. So sick. The birds call. I'm going in. Let's Break that shield there from you there, buddy. If you could. Thanks, just break that shield. No, you can get rid of that shield, buddy. Thank you so much if you could from me there. Thanks. Hey, can I pencil you in for breaking that shield meeting at 3 o'clock? Would that be good? One with nature. Time to act. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your fate. Um, you don't mind me penciling you in to get to, to break that shield at some point, right? Uh, if you could like maybe get rid of it? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That you, you your work for this company is noted. From one man restaurant. Some dining tables and chairs. This one is Wangsheng Funeral Parlors. Oh, so they make coffins too. You're welcome. By the way, guys, that close up, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> No, oh, there's actually chest back here. And there's a note. There's a note. There's a chest. I guess the note is probably more important. Second lives. We finally found it. Cool. Let's bring this invoice back to Hoisin. It's actually just a, uh... I don't know. Like, I found this mission to be very, very fun. I don't think it's as consequential to, like, like, a, like as a massive story. But I don't think that's the point of it. You know what I mean? It's actually about more just about, uh... Like... Ganyu as a character. Which is what they're supposed to be about. But also, like, it's very more... It's much more contained.
Which I like. I like. You know, it's actually like um, an interesting way to do it. Time to go. And it's much more simple. It's simple to understand and it's very relatable as well. Like, and a lot of the stories have been relatable. I feel like this is one of the more relatable stories as well. Just like, you know, the feeling of like... Um, on the basic level, I can't relate to like feeling like I'm a part of two worlds. But I feel like also like a part, another relatable aspect... I'm going to collect these flowers over here. Another relatable aspect of this is just the idea of like... You know, the constant self-doubt in yourself even though everyone else is praising you. You know what I mean? It's kind of like a, what they call it, an inf inferiority complex. Is that it? Ms. Ganyu, you're back. I hope it wasn't too much trouble rushing about like that. Oh, it wasn't. It was actually kind of fun. It was actually kind of fun to be around her. I promise to help you and I'll keep my word. Nothing to worry about. Look, it's the invoice for the transaction between Second Life and Fanmu Carpenters. We've brought it back. Oh, thank you so much. Now we can solve this problem. Agreed. How about we go to Second Life and have a nice chat with the owner? And you can feel for Ganyu, right? You can definitely feel for Ganyu. Oh, we can do another wish now. Yeah. We have like five fates now. I don't think we're gonna get a Linny this episode. If we got two five stars in one episode, I genuinely think that like people would start thinking that I'm uh like that I'm sponsored or something. <laughs> I don't even know that how that happens. Like sometimes I see like trailers, like ads on for like AFK Journey and stuff like that, and like the ads are like, alright, let's do this. I got a gold first try, and you're like, man, maybe it is just streamer luck, you know? Maybe it is. Time to go. This, I have said in the past I've ever took a sponsorship from Genshin or Hoyoverse. The only thing I would ever do is something that I would already do, like 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 I said, like top five prettiest places in all of uh, in, in all of Liyue. You know what I mean? Something like that. Like you know, that'd be really cool to do. That'd be the only thing I would do. I wouldn't do like I wouldn't accept fake pulls. Is what I'd say. I don't think they do that though. I haven't heard someone. No one's told me they do that, so I wouldn't assume they do that. So about the tax records. You know what I mean? Isn't it Huixin from the Yuhai Pavilion? I remember you. I told you that all of my transactions are included in the records. My tax declarations are scrupulous as well. I do hope that my business won't be affected by any groundless accusations. Groundless accusations? Mr. Dongsheng, you seem very sure of yourself. But I sincerely advise that you cease this behavior immediately. It is liable to affect the fine you'll need to pay in the end. Uh, no. No. I'm an honest merchant. I would never get involved with any fraudulent sources of profit. You got no shame. Not so confident now, are you? Haven't I made myself clear? Mr. Dongsheng, you've already been proven guilty She's of so efficient. Evasion. She's actually very good at her job. She's very good at her job. Confess. What? P proven guilty? H how come? That's impossible. Absolutely absurd. He's talking without rhyme or reason. Must be crumbling under Ganyu's pressure. Time for the finishing blow! Mr. Dongsheng, can you tell me what this is? I... it... it's an invoice from Fanmu Carpenters. I... I'm... Master Lu, he... I didn't... Do you admit to tax evasion? This transaction was absent from the tax record. <sighs> I didn't think you'd find out. I didn't leave a single trace. Indeed. We wouldn't have found out if it weren't for Mr. Boalai's aid. <sighs> Balai? That imp from Calm down, dude. Boutique? Calm down. So he told on me behind my back. Hmm. 
He's if you didn't watch the other part of the video, or you maybe skimmed past or skipped past it, or whatever, um, yes, this isn't one of the part of the videos that was cut out uh, of the video because of a false copyright claim that wasn't made by Genshin, it was made by a third-party company. I'm not going to talk about this again, like I said, because I just kind of feel like my videos are there to enjoy, and you don't have to worry about like any of the behind-the-scenes stuff, but I just need to let you know why there was a cut here, and I wasn't just cutting out story parts. You've helped me so much. You must... You must allow me to repay your kindness. Oh, for real? Uh, that's not necessary. No need to be so serious. It was nothing, really. Then let me treat you to a meal. Hmm? The Traveler and Paimon are invited as well. I appreciate that's sweet. your help. That's sweet. All right, come on, Ganyu. Just say yes. Let's eat. <laughs> Let's wait for Ganyu's decision. It's if up to it's Ganyu. just a meal, there's no reason for me to decline. It'll be my pleasure, Huixin. <laughs> Actually, I've already booked Senor Kiosk. I need a moment to prepare everything first. Let's meet there in a while. Hmm. All right. We dare not refuse such generosity. Yeah, I mean, like, why not? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. And like, and I love the idea of like a nice meal. You know what I mean? Like a nice meal among fr amongst friends. We're getting so many uh, books here as well by doing these stories and doing these quests. We're gonna be able to level up so many characters and stuff. That's really cool. This whole story has been really awesome. And, like, I love how simple it was. I love how, like, it really, like, got to the crux of who Ganyu is as a person. We know so much more about Ganyu now. Uh, but not only that, like, it also implemented other characters like Xiao in there. Um, it let us, like, see the both sides of being an Adepti and being a person who lives in Liyue. How important Ganyu is to this place as well. Um, it was really cool. It was really cool. Now, unless they start another thing, I think it has wrapped up. I think it is very much in wrap-up stage. This is where we at with um, Garmin as well, remember? Yeah, unless someone attacks us now, I think this is a wrap-up time. Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Sure! <laughs> Paimon's like, yeah, sure, yeah, this is for you. This is definitely for you. That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl... My father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it interesting we started this mission off with like a story about Ganyu and we're ending with another story about Ganyu. We had it in the middle of another story about Ganyu. Like people have admired this person for years. Over the years, I became a mother too. Oh. So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! So he's Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion too. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> the fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. Oh, wow, that's super sweet. That has to put so much, again, that has to put so much, like, confidence into you. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. Like, the fact that she's like, I trust you with my child. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20 plus years, too. Huishin, I. I never thought that I there meant you so go. much to there you. There you go, Ganyu. 
<laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. Yep. The stories of its people. For sure. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Quaishin. Whoa. You don't know how important the, yeah, these Yeah, man, I'm so me. glad that I, like, and you know what it was? Like, we said something to her, like, you know, and like, and a lot of people are saying how important she was. A lot of people are saying, like, how meaningful she is to people. But it took, like, someone, like, she genuinely helped, you know, to do this, you know? You've made me realize that I share another yes. connection with the people of Leo Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis. They rely on me. Accept me. And long for me to bear witness to their stories. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable. Oh, <laughs> she's good. She needs to hear this. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Hooray! Ganya's finally cheered up. <laughs> We've been waiting for this. Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. I won't let you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. Uh, you haven't been fired. It's a misunderstanding. Wait. <laughs> Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my I think absence. so. The girls were going crazy. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Sick. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. So sick. Such a sick character story. Uh, we're leaving already? Finish up the food I'm quick, so then. The actually looks pretty good. The soup looks pretty good. Talk to the Jade Chamber Secretary to see how these feel, they feel about this. That, I think this is like one of the best possible outcomes as well. This outcome is so good. Um, especially for like uh, characters that like were so worried she was going to be gone. I just still think she's fired. <laughs> I mean like, while it's stupid, at the same time there's also a thing where it's like, is it that stupid? Like, she hears like, oh we no longer have need for... The Adepti. And she's like, well, I'm an Adepti. I'm an Adeptus. I'm part Adeptus. So you don't need me anymore? And there's this kind of feeling of like, maybe they don't need me and maybe I've been helping too much. Maybe they need to rely on people. And maybe, I also think that it is kind of like, this thing where like, she deserves to be here just like anyone else. And her human, and Xiao saw it as well. Xiao's like, your human side is so apparent. That's why he was like, that's why he is uncomfortable talking to her. You know what I mean? He was like, oh God. <laughs> There's the girls. Hopefully they're um, feeling a little bit better about everything. Oh, Ganyu's coming up to them. There we go. They're going to be so happy to see her. Uh -huh. are you okay? You <laughs> they're so tired. Up? Look, look who's back. You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable oh, replacement no. for me after all. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. We just... We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... Sit down then, girls. Sit down. see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> That's so kind of you all. Given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. All right. All right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, She's already and starting. civil affairs. Already starting. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started. And those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. No, lovely. Lovely. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> We're saved. Uh, yes. There's one more thing. Heck yeah. Oh, that's a full body suit. That's so sick. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship... I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. It was a fun adventure for me too. I had fun. 
You know, it's really fun. To think that I'd gained a That's human lovely. friend outside of work. And that shows... It oh makes my God, me yes. happier than I could have imagined. Yes, and it shows that she does belong with humans. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I... Accompanied you on one of your trips? Oh yeah, join him. Invitation. Sure, but... Are you let's, jo let's go. Join the team. Hmm. Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? Yeah, let's join the team. Join the team. Join the team. Join the team. Nice. Really good story quest. And now we get Ganyu. So that's them. That's not them saying that she's going to join our team. That's them saying, like, she could join your team in the future. Um, yeah, that was before we do that. That was a really good story quest. And, like, it talks about all the reasons I loved it. So, like, you know, throughout the whole thing. But I really, I really, really liked how simple it was and how it let us learn so much about Ganyu so quickly. Just a really fantastic character. Oh, please be a debate club. Yes! <laughs> please be a debate club. Oh, how many do we have left? Two? Honestly? Honestly, I'm kind of glad we didn't get a five star again. Because I have a feeling that... Um, that, like, it would get... It would start to get weird. You know what I mean? It would start to get weird. You know what I mean? It would, like... And I'd love a fire... fire I'd love Linny. But I have a feeling that it would start to get super weird. If, like, all of a sudden I was like, Wait a second. We have enough for one more wish. Hold on a second. If we get the five star on this, guys, I feel like I have to... Hide out for a bit. No, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> like the only reason I'm saying good is because like as well, like like we don't need it. We don't need it, but at the same time it's like also I would have liked Lenny. We're still trying to get Lenny. Uh we will get Lenny. How much time do we have left to get Lenny? Two weeks. Two weeks again. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh we have a welkin. We have like wishes every single day. We're gonna get uh, our our commissions. We have a lot to do. Uh let's see here though. Nice. Um. Oh yeah, we have... Hold on a second, actually. We have a new constellation for you. Nice. Uh, and do we open our mail? So good. So good. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, th th this is what we're trying to get soon. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. This is the first time also I've had everyone on a banner bar, the main character. For sure. Thanks to TieFire02, Jamie Bull, Janet Banana, Normal, Kara, The Ghost of Nazuma, Felicious, Felix, George, Candelaria, Eskun, Yule, Radish, Fruity, Orange Bang, Summer Oasis, Death Trap, Anusa, Shibata Bread, and Malcolm Kunde. See you guys very soon.